हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ब्रेक एंड कंटिन्यू स्टेटमेंट इन सी ब्रेक स्टेटमेंट वी ऑलरेडी यूज्ड ब्रेक स्टेटमेंट इन स्वी स्टेटमेंट फॉर सेपरेटिंग द केसेस व्हेन एवर ब्रेक स्टेटमेंट एनकाउंटर्ड इन अ लूप द लूप इज टर्मिनेटेड एंड कंट्रोल ट्रांसफर टू दी स्टेटमेंट इमीडिएटली आफ्टर दी बॉडी ऑफ द लूप to understand this we'll take the ex, uh, example by using flow chart okay for example firstly our program control is given to the condition and this condition is nothing but the condition available inside the loop okay for example if we are using for loop then condition available inside the for loop okay we'll check okay if it is true then and then control pass to the inside uh, inside the body of the loop okay now inside the body of the loop there is a condition and if this condition is true then control is given to the break statement and if the break statement is execute the loop will terminate okay over here the loop is terminated and control transfer to the statement immediately after the body of the loop if break statement will encountered then the particular loop is terminated and control is given to the statement outside the body of the loop the break statement will be executed if some condition is satisfied it means if we are going to use break statement we have to use it with some condition for example we will use some if statements when break statement executes all statement after that up to the end are skipped and loop is terminated now we'll see how the execution of break will be there okay so we'll take this first example okay and in this example there is a two loop first is outer loop and second one is inner loop okay so if we are using a break statement inside the inner loop okay if this condition is true then and then this break statement will execute and if this break statement will execute then whatever will be statement over here that all statements are skipped and control is given over here you can check okay but if we return if statement inside the outer loop but outside the inner loop it means over here then the if break statement is execute then the control uh, the statements after this uh, if statement is keep and control is given to outside the outer loop over here okay now we'll see the next statement that is continue statement it is also breaking statement when continue statement executes it keeps the remaining statements of the current iteration and the next iteration start if we are using continuous statement one thing in your mind that the whole loop is not terminated only a single iteration is terminate and control is given to the next iteration normally it is used inside if statement within the body of the loop we'll see an example of, of over here we will have a for loop over here inside the body of the for loop we are using a continue statement inside the if statement if this condition is true then and then this continue statement will execute and if this con continue statement is executed then whatever will be the statement over here this statement is keep and control is given to the next iteration this whole loop is not terminate okay now we'll see an example for it a write a c program to display even numbers up to 1 to n okay so we have a range up, uh, up to 1 to n okay and we have to display even number between 1 to n okay i have a program over here firstly we have to take number and that number is nothing but n numbers till when we have to find the even numbers okay so i am asking to user give last even number okay then user will input the value of n 
whatever will be the value of n it is the last number of the even number okay then we are going to print the even numbers that's why i am writing a message over here that is even numbers are okay after it i am using while loop we have to understand the concept over here we are writing like this while while inside it we are writing one okay it means in any computer language meaning of one and zero is one is for true and zero is for false okay so over here we are using one okay it means it will always be true okay so the statement written inside the while loop will executed again and again again and again okay so it it may be possible that this loop will be an infinity loop okay to stop our program we have to use break inside this loop okay so how can we do it okay for that i write like this inside the body of the loop i am writing like this if i modulo 2 equal equals to 1 i am not using 0 over here okay so 1 it means it will be odd number okay if i am using 0 over here it will be even number okay if it is odd number i just increment the control variable okay i already use i over here i just increase the value of i so uh, in next iteration the value of i will be used okay now i am using continue statement okay now when there now when this continue statement will execute what happens whatever statement inside the loop after continue statement it means this all statements are skip okay and control is given to the next iteration from here to directly here okay continue statement will not terminate the loop to terminate the loop if i greater than n okay if this condition is true then we are using break statement it means if number is greater than our inputted number if I, for example i am entering 20 over here okay then if the value of i will be greater than 20 then this condition is true and then this break statement will execute and if this break statement will execute whatever statement inside the loop is keep and control is directly given to over here outside the loop okay now we have remaining the concept of even numbers okay if number is not odd number then number is even number so over here we'll directly print printf percentage d slash n comma i okay so this statement will execute or this statement will print even numbers and then we have to increase the value of i for next iteration okay now this statement will not execute in each case this statement is only execute when numbers are even numbers because if numbers is odd numbers then we are using continue statement and continue statement puts our control into the next iteration okay after that if number is greater than our entered number then our loop will be break and Trans, uh, control is directly given to outside the loop okay so whenever the even numbers are then then this condition is false this condition is so, for also false and then these two statement will execute okay i am executing this program okay so output will be like this okay d1 last even number i am entering 20 over here okay and it will gives output like this even numbers are 0 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 and 20 okay that's it for this example now we'll see one more example and this example we will see by using turbo c plus plus okay. write a program using for loop construct which prints all prime numbers between 1 to 50 we'll start with the first that is what is prime number okay so prime numbers are those numbers which are only divisible by one and itself okay so what it means okay so a number for example if we are talking about 17 okay 
then we can say 17 is a prime number because 17 is only divided by 1 and itself if we are going to implement such thing into c then we have to think differently we have to think wise and worse of this situation so how we can do this so for that we have to think about remaining number between 1 and itself in case of 17 we have to leave the number 1 and itself it means 17 in a remaining number we have to take for example 2 3 up to 16 if this number it means 17 is not divisible by this all numbers then and then we can say this 17 number is a prime number okay so a number that is only divisible by one and itself is known as prime number okay so how can we implement such concept into c for that if i will give this if I will consider this 17 as i, okay, then I have to check if i is divisible by 2 or not, okay. For that, I will do i modulo 2 and I will check if it will not give any reminder, it means reminder value of 0, then we can say it is not prime number because the number is only divisible by one and itself then and then we can say it is prime number okay so then we have to check for uh, this i number with modulo 3 okay and likewise we have to do up to uh, obtain n minus 1 or we have to check up to i minus 1 if i is divisible at least one or i will give at least one time zero reminder then that particular number is not prime number okay for example if we are talking about four we know four is not prime number okay so how can we decide it for example we have to leave one and itself so for that we have to check for two and three okay so in first condition we have to check four modulo two okay it will give zero reminder so we can say that it is not prime number okay now we'll take the example of nine okay in case of nine we have to leave the number one and nine so we have to check for two three up to eight okay now in case of nine okay firstly it is check with two nine modulo two it will give us a reminder and this reminder is one okay then in next iteration the value of value is increased and it will be 9 modulo 3 so it will give us no reminder so reminder value is 0 in this case 9 is also not prime number but in case of 17 if we take the uh, modulo operation with 2 to 16 in each and every case it will give it will not give us a zero reminder so we can say 17 is prime number okay now we'll implement this concept for that firstly they have given us a, re a range and this range is nothing but it is 1 to 50 so we have to take two loop first loop is for this range and second loop is for number 2 to uh, i minus 1 okay so i have to write over here i equals to 1 i less than or equal to 50 okay then i have to go for next uh, loop that is a inner loop that is with control variable j and I, we are initiated that inner loop from 2 and uh, we are ending this loop up at i minus 1 as we are decided we have to leave a number and a number it's uh, 1 and number itself okay so outer loop is for 1 to 50 and in a loop, a loop is 2 to i minus 1 okay how we can uh, write a condition for a prime number so that is also we are decided that is i modulo number okay. i modulo number that is inside the inner loop okay so for that uh, we are using uh, i modulo j okay so for that if i modulo j equal equal to 0 then we have to set the value of flag by 1 initially we'll set value of flag over here as 0 
we have to set this value inside the outer loop but outside the inner loop okay now inner loop will end over here okay now after after the inner loop and inside the outer loop we have to check if flag value is zero or not okay this flag value is when uh, set to one when this condition is true it means uh, at least a single time zero will return it means at least a single time reminder will be zero in such case flag value is set to one it means that this number is not prime number in such, uh, such situation we will set flag value as a one if the flag value is zero then and then our prime our number is prime prime number because if flag value is set to one then that number is not prime number it means that our flag value is remain zero then and then it is prime number so we'll print the value of i over here because we have to print prime numbers between 1 to 50 okay after that we have to go in next iteration so from here we have to go for next iteration and in next iteration value of i will be increased okay and then we have to reset the value of flag to zero okay if the value of flag over here is set to one then we have to reset the value of flag uh, to zero because we have to check for the next number okay for example in second iteration our number will be two okay then it will be three four five so it, we have to check for all numbers between 1 to 5 so we have to reset the value of flag by 0 okay and over here loop is n okay now over here i am using the break statement why i am using break statement inside the inner loop okay over here so i am using this break statement if we are taking the example of 9 okay so if we are talking about 9 then 9 is firstly check with 2 okay it will give a reminder and that is one okay we can't say up till uh, two it is a prime number or not in second case we'll use three and we'll check nine modulo three it will give us zero so we can decide over here that that nine is not prime number okay so why we go go for four six seven and eight so we'll we can stop our program over here that's why i'm using break over here okay so i will write break immediately after setting the value of flag now we'll see the demonstration of this program into turbo c++ okay so we'll start demonstration in turbo c++ okay i already mentioned the header file i already mentioned the main function we'll start with the declaration of variables integer we have to use two control variable for two different loops i and j then we have to take a variable that is for flag okay now i am using function for clears the screen and that is clr ser okay then i will print a simple message that is prime numbers between 1 to 50 R, okay and then i am using slash n so the prime numbers will print in new line okay after it i am starting with the for loop for i equals to one we have uh, we had given range up up to one to fifty okay so we'll do for i equals to one then i greater than and equal to fifty and i plus plus okay then inside this for loop we have to uh, reset the value of flag okay for that we have to do flag equals to zero then we have to use inner loop that is for j equals to z one okay then condition for it is j less than or equal to i minus one okay over here we have to initiate the value by uh, from two okay we already discuss about it then j plus plus okay now inside this for loop we have to check for particular number is 
prime number not for that we have to use i modulo j okay we have to check the remainder if at least once the remainder is zero then that particular number is not prime number to to do that we have to set our flag to one okay initially our flag is zero okay and immediately after it if that particular number is not prime number then we immediately break our loop okay now out, outside this is inner loop and inside this outer loop we'll check that if flag equal equals to zero if flag is zero then we can set that particular number is prime number because if flag is zero it means that uh, uh, there will be no single reminder which gives zero okay it means that that particular number is prime number okay and in this situation only flag will be zero otherwise if uh, at least uh, once a reminder will be zero that flag will be one okay so if flags value is remain zero then we can say that particular number is prime number so we'll uh, print over here that particular number by percentage d we have to use space over here then okay we'll print the value of i because we are checking the i is prime number or not and after this outer loop will write get ch okay that's it now we'll save our program by pressing f2 then uh, we'll compile our program by pressing alter f9 to check there is some error or not okay so there is no error now we'll, uh, we'll run our program by pressing control f9 okay and it will give us a prime number between 1 to 50 okay that's it for this lecture thank you thank you very much